Alright, guys, Rockman87 is back, and here are my thoughts on the just recently released Mortal Kombat trailer. Apparently, they're finally starting some work on the next Mortal Kombat movie, which appears to be a reboot or a remake of the first one from 1995. They were planning to make a third one since 1999-ish, but the thousand development hell for so long, they decided to reboot the movie, it seems. And I just finished watching the trailer, and I'm going to put a link in the description box for the trailer. And I'm just going to give you my honest thoughts on it. Apparently, sorry, there's going to be some spoilers here if you haven't seen the trailer, so... Watch the trailer, then watch this if you haven't seen it yet. They have the guy from Spawn as Jax Briggs in this trailer, which is a nice touch in my opinion. He seems to be a good actor and I like him. Apparently, from what this pr uh, trailer shows, that the main focus might be on Scorpion. It may or may not, since there's so many characters going on in this franchise, we don't know for sure yet. But this trailer, which I'm pretty sure is going to probably be one of a couple, it seems to be focusing on Scorpion. It also takes a bit more of a realistic tone, as it has Reptile and Baraka as humans. Reptile as human is okay, in my opinion, because... Reptile, even though they say he's Zaterran, he started off in the early games as a human character. And then slowly but surely he became like a lizard man kind of creature, which they might have in later movies if this one's successful enough. But Baraka is a human I don't like. They messed up his origin story way too much. They have him as a former plastic surgeon who goes psychotic and puts all his stuff on his face and with blades. He barely looks off. He doesn't even look like the game guy does in the video game at all. That's my one major complaint with this trailer so far. They actually do show a bit of Scorpion's face in this, and they talk about how he's a prisoner arrested and Jax is bailing him out to help him out in the Mortal Kombat tournaments. We don't know much about Liu Kang, but we do know that Johnny Cage is dead as Baraka kills him in the trailer as they show. So far, not too much has been uh, released or known about this movie yet, or then hopefully it'll come out sometime this year. This uh, trailer looks really good in my opinion overall, except for the Baraka part. They also show a bit of Shang Tsung in there, and they hint that Sub-Zero is going to be in there. Personally, in my opinion, it looks good, but I just hope the, there are several th uh, do's and do nots they should do in this movie. Number one, they should still stick to the game, because this movie seems to go for an over-realistic tone, but not entirely realistic. But still, like I said, this is the only proof of evidence we even have of the movie, so we don't know much about it yet. Uh, number two, they have to at least have the characters of similar origin stories, or at least make them look alike, which they drop the ball with Baraka on that. We don't know the whereabouts of Liu Kang, Raiden, or... We don't exactly know what Sub-Zero looks like, although they do say he's going to be in there at the end. So far, it looks like it's going to probably be based off the first game, judging by the amount of characters they have. It looks interesting and all, and I hope it'll do good. I mean, I can't say much about it since, like I said, all we have is this trailer. But it looks good. And some of the do-nots they should, uh, uh, that I will uh, say that they shouldn't do is don't make it too realistic and make it stick to the game. And one of the reasons why the first Mortal Kombat movie is considered so successful and so popular among fans is it follows the plot of the video game, which this movie seems to do. And the first movie also had somewhat admirable characters. This one we can't say yet, but one thing's for sure. It does look a hell of a lot more violent than the first movie, which is a thumbs up in my opinion, because it's more freaking combat. Every game, except for the one versus DC Universe, which I felt sucked, was violent as hell. Now this movie seems to be following in the game's footsteps. So far, I think this trailer is a step in the right direction. Leave your comments, thoughts below. If you want, you can make a video response to this. Tell me your thoughts, Mortal Kombat fans, on Mortal Kombat 2010, the teaser trailer. I'm going to put a link in the description box so you can watch it. I just hope it works. Rocker97 making his first video in a long time. Peace out, guys. Hopefully I'll make another one soon. See ya.